So we've seen we, we can draw a demand curve given the information in the table. And then the demand curve tells us the same story as the information in the table. And we're going to, from now on, we're going to use diagrams, curves, to quite an extent. But we, we don't draw, every time we have to draw a, a demand curve, we don't base it on a table. We know the demand curve conveys information of the law of demand. So we have to get used to drawing the demand curve. When I have to draw the demand curve, I use a three-step approach. Start off with the axis, I name the axis, price and quantity. And then I know the demand curve is downward sloping because it adheres to the law of demand. I didn't draw this demand curve based on any table but I drew it based on my knowledge of the law of demand, which shows an inverse relationship between price and quantity. And this demand curve of mine adheres to that. If the price decreases, say, from this level to this level, what happens to the quantity demanded? Well, the quantity demanded increases from year to year. So this demand curve is legit. And this one, you can see the slope is much steeper, but that is not the criteria. Does it adhere to the law of demand? A decrease in price from there to there leads to an increase in quantity demanded. That's fine. And this one, with a relatively flat slope. Let's test the law of demand and say there's an increase in the price from this level to this level. Price increase. What happens to quantity demanded? Well, we started off here. A new price there. Quantity demanded decreases. Again, the inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded. So, this demand curve is fine. This one is fine. And this one. In general, we will use one similar to this. But once we come to elasticity, you'll see we'll work with steeper and also flatter demand curves. Now, the only way you're going to get used to and comfortable with the demand curve and using the demand curve is by practicing drawing the demand curve. Take a piece of paper. Next time you, you answer the phone and you, and you doodle, then you draw demand curves on the side. Draw the axis, first step. Name the axis, second step. Draw the demand curve, third step. Next one, and practice and practice. We're going to add the supply curve, and then we're going to work with markets. Make yourself comfortable with using diagrams because it's an excellent tool to use when you discuss economic theory.